A variation for doing a cam remove in TV Paint is similar to the keyframer, but it has uh, some slightly different functions, so I'm going to show you that. Again, we'll start here with our source layer, or our source layers, uh, source scene, and create a new project from the file menu, new project. I am going to use 16:9 uh, aspect ratio, 1920 by 1080 in this case. And again, referring to our source layer, we know that it's 34 frames long. So that's the duration of the scene and the camera move. So I drag that out to 34. And in this case, we're going to be using a tool called the multiplane camera. So I will call this one um, scene a five rabbit multiplane. And the multiplane camera is an interesting tool in the effects stack. So open the effects stack. Go to Add Effects, Single Effects, Motion, and now instead of the keyframer, you're going to choose Multiplane Camera. Now the multiplane uh, can be used for exactly what it says, which is to do uh, camera moves on multiple planes of artwork. And I'll show you some supplemental uh, tutorials on how that sort of process is done. But the multiplane can also be used uh, to operate on a single plane. It doesn't have to be multiple planes that are separated by distance. So in this case, we're going to just use uh, the two layers and we're going to set them both at the same distance from the camera. So there's not really any depth effect, it's just the camera moving in this case. So to start, we're going to uh, go to the planes tab here and there are no planes at the moment, so I'm going to make a new plane. So here's my new plane. If you go to the where it says Open Stage, this shows what I'm currently seeing. Uh, I've got there's my camera position. This is the plane I'm looking at. There's nothing there yet, but let me close the stage, move it out of the way. So I need a source. My source is the project list, and in this case, it's that project. So that opens it up, and you can see the multiplane is similar to the keyframer. It's like a window that we're looking through. We can see through to the source layer, which you can think of as being outside the window. So that's our camera view. That's where we would start. Let's go over to the view plane, and in this case I do want to go in a little bit tighter to start, so I'm going to adjust to the Z coordinates, and I'm going to go slightly down and over. So that is the starting composition at the beginning. So I will hit the little key icon to set the keyframe under the first frame. Advance to the end. And it's the same as with the uh, keyframer. If I were just to drag this down here, the effect I would get is the camera follows the rabbit as it moves forward camera doesn't change, it just moves down as the rabbit moves. But, as, same as before, we're going to uh, pull out and adjust the camera to where I want it to be at the end of the shot. Let's pull out just a little bit more. So now when I preview it, by scrubbing the timeline, you can see that it's moving forward and pulling out. Right in that middle, I'm going to adjust it just slightly, so we're keeping him a little more centered. And you're set. Now if you go back to the stage view, 
the stage only shows you what the uh, the camera is where the camera is positioned so you're not seeing a preview of the animation in there but you are seeing as you scrub along where the camera is positioned on each frame you can see it moving in and out uh, if you were going to use this um, and this is useful when you're doing a multi-plane move or even a single plane move you can actually adjust the camera by dragging it here so this has the effect of adjusting the camera as well, moving in or out or side to side. Now you can see where, I've, where I was positioned here, it's created a new keyframe, which is actually going to have messed up the move at this point because we've got move going out, then it suddenly goes back in and then back out. If you ever do that, uh, where you've created an extra keyframe that doesn't work, just select it and then right click and delete the key and confirm. So now that got rid of that extraneous keyframe. And there's our move. Now select all and apply the effect step. And now your effect, your multiplane camera move, which in this case is just a single camera move, has been rendered. And you're set to export the movie.